Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. So we've got the death card in the reverse, scorpionic energy, and we've got the ten of wands. We've got the seven of pentacles in the reverse, and we have the two of cups. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. We have the three of pentacles, and we have the nine of cups. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So we've got the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy, and then we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, there you are, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers. So we've got the Ten of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages. So now we have the Two of Wands, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress energy, Virgo energy. So, Cancer, what I'm feeling, oh, and we have the Wheel of Fortune under the deck, holla, with the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Nine of Swords, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to take these. All right. So, Cancer, what I'm feeling here, my loves, is we have a situation that is not over. You may think it's over. You may say, gee, it's over. And I'm telling you, it ain't. <laughs> it's not over. Uh, maybe over for you, but it's not over for somebody. I don't know. There's a situation here that has not ended, whether you think it has or it hasn't, okay? Um, I feel like someone here is overwhelmed, okay? Someone here is extremely burdened. Why? Because they're watching you, Cancer. With the moon card, um, you see, the moon is behind you, Cancer. You're over here trying to look forward, and the moon is behind you. You don't know this. You'd have no idea that you are being watched here, Cancer. I feel like this person does it more at night. Um, this person is curious. We have someone here that you quite possibly tried to end something with. It could have been a long time ago because it would appear to me that you're not speaking to this person, but they watch you, Cancer. They're curious. It, it, there's a mystery around you right now. Um, and it's, it's every time this person goes on to watch you or to look at you, it, it's more and more on them. Like it's getting harder and harder on them to repress how they feel. Because the moon card talks about repressed emotions, not showing yourself and not showing how you feel. Their emotions are weighing them down more and more and more, okay? Now, what we have happening here is as much as somebody with the seven of pentacles and the reverse um, is telling themselves, stop thinking about the past. Stop thinking about the past. Would you please just stop thinking about the past? They can't, Cancer. Why? Because with the two of cups and the ten of cups here, you guys are soulmates, divinely guided soulmates. And there was a tremendous amount of love in this connection. And here we've got the page of swords again. And someone here is starting to wake up to that fact that this shouldn't have ended or that, you know, someone here maybe is starting to realize that they didn't invest in the connection properly that they shouldn't have made certain mistakes or done certain things in the past, okay? Now, coming into the near future, what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is an energy of someone saying, you know what? I want to work this out. Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. This was a perfect teammate. This was someone that wanted to go through life with me. This is someone that stood by my side and filled all nine of my cups. You know what I'm saying? This person gave me that, you know, fulfillment that I needed. I was happy when I was with this person. With the Two of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, Cancer, I feel like you're single right now. I feel like you're minding your damn business. I feel like, well, and even if you're not single, maybe 
maybe you're dating, I don't know, but I feel like you're independent. You know, maybe you've glowed up cancer. Maybe you started making a ton of money. Maybe you started going to the gym. Whatever it is, you're looking really good here, okay? You're looking really good here. And with the Two of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like someone's choosing you, Cancer. I feel like someone is starting to see you as a road that they may possibly want to pursue, you know, go down. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Swords, I feel like we could possibly be dealing with uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, but I feel like what's happening here is with the Wheel of Fortune, the divine is at work here. This is divine timing right here. Okay, the divine is, is bringing this back together. And I feel like what we have here is someone who is not wanting to show their emotions. They don't want to show how they feel, okay? Um, with the nine of swords energy, there may be a sense of fear or anxiety. Someone here is up all night, though. I'm getting very strongly that someone's having trouble sleeping. And when they can't sleep, guess where they go? Onto your social media or looking at you, watching you, thinking, looking at pictures, okay? And what's happening is this person is trying really hard. They're giving it their all to not uh, face their own emotions, to not face the fact that you were the one, okay? They don't want to. Like, you know what I'm saying? This person's like, I don't want to. But they do, you know? Now, Cancer, this could be you. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and clarify here. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Yeah, someone here needs to make a choice, Cancer is what I'm feeling. They need to make a choice. There may be, you know, a third-party situation here in the picture with the Three of Pentacles, but <clears throat> someone's anxious because they know they need to make this choice. And I feel like even here we see with the King of Swords, they don't want to think about the past. But this person is being drawn to you, Cancer. Tell me about the death card in the reverse for my Cancers. Tell me about the death card in the reverse for my Cancers. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, you think it's over. You you would think it's an illusion, though, okay, with the Seven of Cups. Um, you or this person may be feeling a little confused, like, but we ended this. It's over. Why can't I stop thinking about this person? Uh, with the Seven of Cups, it's not over. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Tell me, And we have two illusion cards here, the Moon and the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Moon. The devil, Capricorn energy, this person stalking you, Cancer. This person cannot stop thinking about you. Um, I feel like this person uh, is very sexually attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. They're very drawn to you. I'm also getting a sense of anger, though, Cancer. I'm getting a sense of rage, of anger, because they don't want to be. As you can see, the devil card is technically the lover's card chained to each other. So this is like, in a sense, it's the I hate that I love you card. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, someone here is watching you and it makes them angry that they love you. It makes them angry that they can't get over you. And that's where that Ten of Cups comes in because their emotions are overwhelming. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Someone here wants to go after what they want, okay? But they're trying to hold back cancer. They're trying to hold back and it's reached... Ten of Wands, they can't take it anymore. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy in the reverse. So I feel that there's an energy cancer of maybe you were pursuing your options in the past. Maybe you were in a relationship with someone else and um, they saw that as, you know, there was no hope that, you know, you guys could be together. Okay. They may have even seen it as you being unfaithful, even though you guys aren't together. Okay. Um, but with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it could be one of a few things, Cancer. Maybe you were in a relationship and this person was waiting for you to not be in a relationship, okay? Or maybe this person is in a relationship and it would call for them to be unfaithful, for them to come back to you. Give me one more on the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Four of Cups. Yeah, see, this person maybe um, was holding back because either it called for them to be unfaithful or maybe they thought that you would reject them because you have gone off with someone else. Okay, maybe this person is fearing rejection. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Swords. Cancer, I get the impression that this person left you. 
that this person perhaps uh, cheated on you or left you for someone else. Whatever it is, it was a very swift ending. Like someone packed their things really fast. Like this is a connection that ended really fast. This is sabotage due to itself, sabotage due to somebody wanting to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. Someone here made this decision in the past. And this is why they're trying to not think about it, Cancer, because they're like, man, did I really walk away and make a mistake? So they're trying not to think about it. And this why this is why this, the, the tables are turning on this person they may have left a connection that was divinely guided that was blessed by the divine god or spirit and now tables are turning on this person because they're realizing quite possibly that that was a mistake tell me give me one more on the seven of swords yeah, five of cups. This person is in regret, Cancer. This person has a lot of regret for sabotaging the connection, for ending things so quickly, for moving out so fast, or from running from you so quickly. You know, that seven of swords talks about leaving in the middle of the night. It talks about packing all your shit and just disappearing. Like, you know, something ended way too fast and this person doesn't want to think about the past, Cancer. You know why? Because they were at fault okay they were at fault and they you know they're like if i look back i have to admit that i made the mistake okay i have to admit that i made the mistake and obviously someone here doesn't want to face that reality okay but the divine has other plans tell me about the two of cups the tower Aries, Scorpionic energy. Cancer, I feel like someone here um, sabotaged a very strong soul tie, okay? Um, I feel like someone here just kind of like there's an energy of, you know, like setting a house on fire and just, you know, it's burnt down now, you know? And someone's looking back at why did I make such an impulsive decision? You know, I'm getting here with that seven of swords and that tower, a very impulsive, quick, sudden change. And with the lover's card, see, again, we have that lover's card here we've got the snake there tempting someone so someone here maybe fell into temptation maybe there was a third person um now that doesn't always have to be romantic it could be that there was a romantic third party that manipulated someone's you know kind of brainwashed someone and someone just kind of like dropped the ball and and you know just ran off with a third party that's possible it could be a friend it could be a family member someone here was in this person's ear you know manipulating them and twisting things to get someone to walk away, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. So someone is looking and, and seeing you, Cancer, as this beautiful pre-empress energy. You've glowed up. And, you know, even back then, you know, well, I mean, even in the present moment, that's how they're seeing you. And they're seeing you that way in the future, too. We've got the King of Swords under the deck again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Nine of Swords again with the Seven of Pentacles. So you see here, Cancer, we've got this King of Swords energy that doesn't want to show emotion, but on the inside, this person and suffering nightmares they can't dream massive anxiety maybe even depression okay with the seven of pentacles this person has not been able to move on from the past because with the five of pentacles someone here just abandoned ship like they totally left someone desolate out in the cold just totally abandoned ship and ever since they did it with the four of swords i'm getting a sense of like depression or healing like this person has not been able to move on but then again we've got the justice here libra energy karma someone has been facing karma ever since they did this to you cancer okay now mind you could be vice versa i don't know take it as it resonates tell me about the page of swords Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So I feel like someone is realizing how loyal and stable and nurturing somebody was here. We've got the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you know, true pair, and it's like a power couple type of pair. Like this, oh, look at this. Four of Wands under the deck, stability, home, family, um, marriage. You know, you may have been married to this person or engaged, engaged to be married to this person. Um, so we do have a true pair here, the king to the queen of pentacles, which falls right under the emperor and the empress. So you guys were destined for great things in this connection. Um, but I feel like one person was unfaithful. Cancer, I feel like some this king of pentacles was unfaithful and rejected you. They pushed you away, you know, and I feel like someone is facing the consequences of their actions. Tell me about the three of pentacles coming into the near future. We've got the hierophant, Taurus energy, a uh, divinely guided connection, a divine soul contract. This is God, spirit, the divine getting involved with the three of pentacles. Um, you know, this could literally be, you know, 
the three of pentacles, you, your person, and the divine working on this for it to come together. I feel like someone wants to work on a marriage or yeah, see ten of wands under the deck. It's getting to this person they can't take anymore. Like the divine has crushed someone here to the point that they just can't take it anymore. They're like, you know what? I want to work on my marriage. You know, I want to work on this relationship. If you guys weren't married, tell me about the nine of cups. And the full card. Someone's going to go for it. Aries energy. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to take that risk. You know, they have no idea what's going to happen when they do with the two of swords. But someone's like, you know what? I need to balance out these scales. I need one way or another. I need to make things right. Tell me about the two of wands. We have the death card. Scorpionic energy. Give me one more. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles. Someone in the near future is coming to a realization here. They have to make a choice, Cancer. Okay, someone here has to make a firm decision. Do I want to end this? With the death card because we've seen we started here with the death card in the reverse right scorpionic energy it's not over for them cancer this has not ended for them yet okay so someone's like do i want to end this you know the the decision here is see those two wands the decision here is do i want to end this completely or do I want my Ten of Pentacles? Because you see the pre-empress is sitting here with Nine Pentacles. This person just has to hop on board and you guys will live happily ever after. Very financially stable, emotionally stable, family, joy. I mean, look at this Ten of Pentacles here. There's people everywhere. There's, you know, family, fun, a dog. There's everything there, okay? So what does this person want, okay? And they have to make the decision, do I want to really shut the door on this and end this and accept that it's really over? Over, or do I want to pursue my pre-empress and my ten of pentacles? And they're having a lot of anxiety needing making this decision. It's getting to them. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, please. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, please. We've got the sun, Leo energy. Um, Cancer, someone is realizing that they were really happy with you. They're coming to a, they're seeing you in a whole new light. That that is one another thing I'm getting to. You may be in the public eye, but they're seeing you in a whole new light. Tell me about the sun card and the four of wands. You see, they see you as their divinely guided soulmate, their perfect counterpart. You may be twin flames with this person. That's possible too. But stability, home, marriage, family, okay? And with the six of wands under the deck, victory, okay? Victory. Um, spirit, tell me about this wheel of fortune, please. Wheel of fortune. We have the nine of cups. The divine, you don't, you can hide from yourself and you could hide your feelings from the people around you. You can't hide them from God, spirit, the universe. You can't hide what you really want. So whatever you're thinking on and whatever you're manifesting, the universe, you know, you're putting out that energy. So your wishes, someone's wishes are about to be fulfilled here, even though they don't want those wishes to be fulfilled, even though their brain is like, I don't want that relationship. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. The problem is, is that their heart is saying a whole different thing. And that that energy is greater than logic at this point. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You know, these are two people. It's like you have a situation here, Cancer, where someone has a tremendous amount of emotion for you. They just don't want to show it. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. And we've got the Nine of Wands. You see, someone here just doesn't want to show their emotion. They want to keep it locked up. They don't. They've come to the decision that you're the one, but they're just not wanting to speak on it. Okay? They're not wanting to speak on it. What advice do we have here for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Clarity, guidance, love messages. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Stay optimistic about your, your love life. We've got soulmate under the deck. Do we see reconciliation here, please? We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we've got finances and career. I feel like it's becoming a full-time job because this person's being drawn back to you. There's a strong soul tie connection. And this person, like I said, they already know that you're the one. So someone here is going to let go of that control.
Cancer. Someone here is trying to maintain self-control and not saying how they feel, but they're going to let go and they're going to let hope in. Letting go and letting hope in. That's what's happening here, Cancer, okay? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, see, someone here is letting go and letting God free yourself and religious factors. They're going to come in to express their love, Cancer, okay? The walls are going to fall. The, they, they can't hold these walls up any longer. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.